So, what was the goal? What was the goal to any of this? What was the purpose? So I used to think that life had meaning. I really genuinely did. I thought my life had meaning. I thought that I could interact with the world around me. And that somehow I would be loved and respected and that's just not possible. That's not a possibility. You know, it's like I said, I sit there and I think that maybe someday, there is no someday, someday's not going to come. It's just, it's just this constant reminder that life is meaningless, that my life especially is meaningless. that nothing I do, nothing I say has any meaning or any point. And that's why so many people have been trying to tell me I'm continually promoted as a criminal, as a monster, as, as a retard. I'm just, you know, I, I look back on my life And I wanted so much of life. I wanted so much. Most of all, I wanted just to be happy. People like me don't deserve happiness. Don't deserve love. Don't deserve respect. Don't deserve kindness, don't deserve consideration or respect or anything. We deserve to be laughed at, ridiculed, hated, isolated, silenced. I'm just I'm just, I don't know what, what I was supposed to do with anything. You know, I, I've been thinking about the definition of a God. What is a God? A God is someone who can affect somebody else's life without consequence. I'm just tired. I'm 
just tired of all the meaninglessness. I'm tired of having lost hope, and I, I'm tired of I had thought that I could actually be somebody. That I could live just a normal life like everyone else. And God came into my life and said no. So I have to sit here in this cage that I can't escape and just wait to die because this is what the gods commanded. They're their gods. You know, they have power, but no responsibility, no moral agency. There's no meaning. It's just, it's just, it's just about it's just about who you can hurt without suffering consequences of action. And that's why it's fun for them to hurt me because there's no consequences. I don't have the money, I don't have the credibility, I don't have anything. I see something online. It's twisted. I made to look like a monster. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't understand why I was a target for so many people to go after. This world is just getting so much darker and darker and darker. And I don't think there's any light left in me. If there ever was to begin with. I guess my enemies have come into my life and so successfully destroyed any chance for me to connect, to find love, to find any meaning or value. This idea that people don't have any inherent worth is screamed at the rooftop from the rooftops by everyone it seems. I thought that I would be one of the ones who made it. One of the ones who would sit there and say, it's possible to show that it's possible.
but no matter what I do, I am outmatched, outclassed, outthought. The gods give you two choices. They say, obey or burn in hell. And you ask them, what do you want me to do? And they say, well, that's for you to figure out. That way they can say they gave you a choice. If you stand up to them, you get ground under, beaten down into a pulp, and they never stop. It's just eternal, eternal punishment for something you said or did that they didn't like. They claim authority and sovereignty over your life simply because they have more power than you do. So you're forced to obey the most cruel and vicious and psychotic of entities. Simply because you're afraid of hell. And you don't know who they are because they come in the shadows. And from the shadows, they whisper their lies and their deceptions and their treachery. And they feed on your despair. They feed on your grief. They feed on your anger. They feed on you like parasites. But they consider themselves gods. And so many consider them with gods. And for 15 years, they've been doing everything they can. Longer than that, actually. For my entire life, they've been screaming at me that I'm a retard, that I'm a monster, that I'm a loser. And they've been proving their power over me at every twist and turn. I'm not even allowed the basics of life. And what is the basic of life? The basic of life is meaning. And if there is no meaning, then there's nothing. Without value, there is nothing. I'm just tired of how dark this world has gotten. Tired of being shuffled around from cage to cage like an animal. It's like this unwritten rule that people have to blindly obey whatever God comes along and declares ownership of their life. They 
they mock me, they ridicule me for having even thought that I had something to offer. That I had potential to do anything. But them being gods, they have no moral agency. Because moral agency requires responsibility. And who can stand up to gods? Especially when they have so many followers. To bring all they can to prop them up. With their slander and their lies and their treachery. I've given up and that they keep pressing on. As though my very existence is an abomination. You know, what is nihilism? Nihilism is just the way it is apparently. Because who am I to have any goals or dreams? Who am I to have any desire to enjoy life? just trapped, no room to move. They've succeeded. And they've succeeded in crushing every ounce of desire Every out, they've just, they've succeeded. I just wanted to end. I just wanted to stop. I want to feel like myself again. What is my tribe? My tribe! This is Nick Bravo being professional. This is Nick Bravo being professional. I'm gonna strike him with a lead pipe right in his fucking third eye. Right in front of his fucking face. Just boom! Crack that fucking thing wide open. Fuck you. 
Fuck you. It's okay. It's funny. It's funny. I am as I have always been, and always will be a man of good character and conscience. Yeni! Yeni! Terminate! Terminate! Terminate the corky! Kill the corky! Kill the corky! Kill the corky! Magic! Nihilistic might makes right magic. I am a man of good character and conscience. It's funny! It's funny! All I have is my mind. Ooh! I want to feel smart, so I'm going to pretend I'm intelligent. You're the idiot. You're the moron. You're the one who has to fucking learn. Not me. The people think I'm some kind of goddamn rose cow. He needs to get a job at a factory and be an honor mechanic. <laughs> if I stole ten million dollars from some bank or from some hedge fund, Yes, I'd be able to sleep perfectly okay at night. I'm a man of good conscience and good character. You fucking know it. You fucking know it. <laughs> I know what you look like. I know where you live. I'm gonna fucking come after you and knock your fucking head off. You're a miserable motherfucking piece of shit. If I fucking slit your throat, no one would goddamn give a shit. And you deserve to have your throat slit. <laughs> and you wonder why I think I'm smarter than you? <laughs> and if you were honest, you'd recognize me as a man of good character and conscience. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Where's my community? Where's my friends? Where are my where are my family? Where's my tribe? My tribe! Really? Really? Yeah, I hope to God every fucking one of you dies from the coronavirus. I really genuinely do. Blah, 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 blah. I hope you goddamn motherfuckers die of the coronavirus. I hope every goddamn one of you. I hope it kills every goddamn fucking one of you. Every fucking goddamn cocksucker. I am a hero, and I am a man of good character and conscience. <coughs> you fucking retard. Cars, houses, relationships, respect. Yet I'm denied all of it. I'm denied every goddamn fucking bit of it. Why? I am mentally ill. And criminally minded. I'm invincible. I'm invincible. I'm a badass. A badass. A badass. A badass. A badass. I'm a badass. I am a man. I am a man. I'm one of the good guys. I'm one of the heroes. I'm a man of good character and conscience, just like you. You fucking. Retards. It's so funny! It's so funny! I could walk out this apartment building right now, beat up somebody smaller than me, and I own them! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm a man of good character and conscience. I'm a mind reader! I stand against criminals. I fight criminals. I fucking fight criminals. Fuck you. Fucking cocksuckers. Magic! Magic! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like I'm mentally ill. Schizophrenic delusional mind! I'm not living in reality. No, it's not! No, it's not! <coughs> <coughs> oh.